So if you recall, the Newtonian model of reality is all about predicting an outcome. It's again, held to that belief that based on all these laws that you can have a familiar predictable outcome, but we know different now, don't we? So now we are trying to control our reality instead of surrendering to something greater. All we're doing is trying to survive. There's three energy centers. So if the quantum model of reality ultimately defines everything as energy, so why do we experience ourselves more as physical beings than as beings of energy? We could say that the survival-oriented emotions, the emotions are energy and motion, are lower frequency or lower energy emotions. They vibrate at a slower wavelength and therefore ground us into being physical. Think about that. From a physics perspective, it makes total sense because since your energy is being locked into your first, your second, and your third energy center, so your perineum, base of your spine, two inches below your navel, two inches above your navel, your first three energy centers, none of the energy is going to your heart, let alone to your fifth energy center, your voice. You're not going to be able to speak your truth, that's for sure. It's not going to your pineal gland, not going to your pituitary, and definitely not going to your eighth energy center. It's locked in the first three. By definition, your electromagnetic field has collapsed, and now you're real dense. Dense matter, which you're more heavy, which is going to ground you more, rightfully so. Once you're out of that fight or flight mode and you get the energy to move up into your heart, you open up that heart. You broadcast that energy of love. That energy has to go now up to your fifth energy. So now that you can also express your truth, that energy center now goes up. It's inevitable. It's going to go to your pineal gland, your third eye. That pineal gland is going to start to grow the transducer because the calcium carbonate, you know, those five little crystals, they're like rhombohedrons. They start to, to shimmer until boom. The little antenna literally grows on top of the pineal gland. The pineal gland, in fact, looks like this little pine cone. That's what it looks like. And it's tiny. It's the size of a rice grain and so on and so forth. And then that's how you're able to access the 5D quantum because you can access those. You know that the atom, we know from physics, it's always in the potential waveform of energy. It's always in that state until you observe it. The moment you observe it, then it turns into particles. So now you observe what it is that you want to turn it into the particles that you want. I hope this is making sense to you all. So they vibrate, the dense particles, they're a slower wavelength. The energy wavelengths are moving at the speed of light. The other ones are slower and they're a denser energy. They vibrate at a slower wavelength and therefore ground us into being more physical. We become denser, heavier, and more corporeal, more body-like. That's what corporeal means. Because that energy causes us to vibrate more slowly. The body quite literally becomes composed of more mass and less energy, more matter and less mind. I'm sure a lot of you have felt how some people will walk into a room, and as soon as they walk into a room, the room feels heavier, or darker, and as soon as they leave, the room lightens up. That is evidence that their electromagnetic field is collapsed. They are very dense, dense matter, very grounded. They don't have, they're not connecting to the divine at all. Figure 5a, the higher frequency waves at the top are vibrating faster and therefore are closer to vibratory rate of energy and less to that of matter. Moving down the scale, you can see that the slower the wavelengths, the more material the energy becomes. Thus, the survival emotions ground us to be more like matter and less like energy. So emotions such as anger, hatred, suffering, shame, guilt, judgment, and lust make us feel more physical because they carry a frequency that is slower and more like that of physical objects. However, the more elevated emotions such as love, joy, gratitude are higher frequencies. And as a result, they are more energy-like and less physical and material. 